what must I do if I dispose of a business property during the year? So dispositions become issues because now we have possibly depreciable assets, uh, for example, and then we, we've got to deal with depreciation possibly, which could be an issue depending on how large the business is and what type of industry they are in, which could mean that we buy and sell uh, a business property, for example. And if we sell like equipment or something like that, we have to deal with the depreciation related to it and the calculation of the gain or loss and whether or not it should be capital or ordinary income in nature and so on. Uh, what kinds of business income do I have to report on my tax return? So when we think about the business's uh, return, meaning the Schedule C, we usually have an income statement, income and expenses. Questions with regards to income for taxes come to one, is it something that needs to be included in income where the IRS's position is basically everything that you receive typically should be included in income unless the IRS says otherwise? And then two, what kind of things should be reported where? Where should they be reported as income? In other words, on the Schedule C versus some other location uh, on the tax return. Noting, of course, we would like to have income that is exempt from reporting income being bad for taxes, right? We would like to have income that we don't have to report, right? Legally, if that were possible. What kinds of business expenses can I deduct on my tax return? Usually this is a more complex question. Usually the business income is usually fairly straightforward. With the business income, people sometimes have questions about whether or not they get a 1099. The question is going to be, well, nobody 1099 to me for that income. Do I still have to report it? Well, yeah, you typically have to record it because it was business income. So the IRS is going to try to get the person that paid you to issue a 1099. But if, if you're a hair salon and you just do people's hair and you get paid by individual people and not businesses, you're probably not going to get a 1099. Do you still have to record the income? Yes, you just don't have that double verification uh, for, for the IRS's side of things. On the expenses, it sometimes gets more difficult because with a business, what we do is we do what we do well and we pay for everything else. Therefore, we're going to have a much larger list of expenses typically in terms of category types than income. And questions will then, of course, come up. Should we have business? Ex what kind of business expenses are there? And we have to also be thinking about separating our business expenses from personal so that when we're paying for stuff, we can determine, is this something that's ordinary and necessary for the business or is it personal? We come up with questions that are questionable in terms of their they're both like a home. You might have a home office or like a car, which you use for personal and business, for example. So what kinds of expenses are not deductible as business expenses? So just as important when we think about expenses, what kind of things can we deduct? And we can also think about those things which we cannot deduct, right? And so we can list those out. What happens if I have a business loss? Can I deduct it? 